I really see, especially internal HR as like the heart of the business. They're like, they, they see what the people are feeling, you know, like they, you know, if, if the business is injured and it's bleeding, like they have to, you know, if it's turnover or whatever it may be, like they stop the bleeding. If the business is growing, they help kind of put that strategy together of how we're going to build this monstrous team. What, like, why do you think that it's something that HR had to fight for. Like, what do you think if it was maybe systematic through the past? Like, like why, why has it maybe been something in the past if it's now been put into way more companies' faces as I think we'd agree that it has been? Why, why do you think it maybe wasn't the case in the past? I don't think organizations realize the power of high employee engagement um, and, how, and how they could directly link it to things like revenues and company valuation and mm. how you know, now I think there's just more data points where you can. Um, and I would say too, just to kind of build on that, it's it's just something you said there. HR, it is definitely the heart of the business, 100%, but it's also everyone, everyone is HR. I always tell every manager, you're HR just as much as me. Mm-hmm. Um, you are going to know what's going on or should know what's going on with your team before I do. Um, if you're a great leader that's in tune with your team. And so, you know, you have a great people team that's there to help sort of, um, you know, make those leaders even better people yeah. leaders. Um, and so it's everyone, um, you know, should be focused on on um, on their employees and not just sort of look to the people team to solve any problems that, that may be going on. So I think taking that lens as to the power, to your point of, of HR and how it can really positively impact revenues, innovation, customer yeah. satisfaction, all of that. It's, um, it's, it's true. It, it, it does 100%. Nice. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Thank you.